All right, so around two months back, I was watching a video of Gary Vaynerchuk, AKA Gary V. And he was talking about how we usually buy products to impress others. And you know, we just spend so much money on dumb shit. And he was saying that we should go to our rooms and you know, just pick up all of the dumb shit that we have bought over the past years and just sell them. And I was pretty bored. I didn't know what to do, so I just ended up selling all of my smartwatches. And it has been amazing. Let me tell you why. Now, you might not agree with what Gary said, but I have another observation. 90% of the gadgets that we have bought, we never really needed them. But we have been told that we need them so that somebody else can make money off of it. A smartwatch is a perfect example of it. Let me tell you how. An average watch by Casio that will give you the options of time, stopwatch, timer, alarms. Some will also give you the world clock as well. That cost around 20 to $30. And a smartwatch starts from almost $100 and it can go up to like $200, $300 as well. The basic difference between these two watches is that a watch by Casio, a $20 watch, is just gonna give you the time, the, you know, the alarm and everything, but the smartwatch will be a touch-based device that will also monitor your activities as well as give you the notification, right? So it will give you the message notifications, the email, the phone calls. Some watches will also allow you to pick your phone calls and talk through your watch as well. I'll come back to that point later. Another difference is that that $20 watch, there is a higher chance that it will actually last you for more than five years. And that smartwatch on the other hand, that $250 smartwatch will definitely degrade after one year. And that also depends on the company. If they just all of a sudden stop giving you updates, you're done. And then there was this extra effort because now you have bought a smartwatch, you would have to carry its cable, its wireless charging case whenever you're traveling. You would have to charge it every single day because you know most of the smartwatches don't even last a day. And gradually, it will basically increase your efforts. You bought that product to make it convenient for you, to make your whole life convenient, but that is actually increasing your efforts. So it's actually making your whole life a bit more inconvenient. So does it even make sense? Like, seriously, think about it. And then there is no durability factor as well. If you mistakenly drop your smartwatch there is a 90% chance that its screen will break. And if you throw a Casio G-Shock on the wall, there is a 90% chance that that wall will break. <laughs> and because of your smartwatch being connected to your phone all the time through the Bluetooth, your phone's battery also gets consumed more often. And ever since I've stopped using smartwatches, my phone's battery has become more convenient for me, by the way. Another thing that really pisses me off is that there is literally nothing on this entire planet that this device cannot do, literally. And so why are we buying a smartwatch? You want fitness or activity tracking? Your phone can do that. You want your calling notification, blah, blah, blah. Your phone can do that as well. And plus, by the way, most of the smartwatches, they don't even let you to reply what you really want to reply to that message. You just get the notification, but then you have to pick your phone up to open the message and, you know, reply. Even if, let's say, there are some watches that provide you with the keyboard, is it really convenient to, like, type it like this? I'm, like, my fingers, are, I'm not really sure if I can type with that keyboard. So again, it's not convenience. It's actually creating inconvenience for you. You want some pictures taken because there are some smartwatches that have camera as well. Your phone has the best camera. Just take out your phone from your damn pocket, open the camera and take the picture. Why are we being so much lazy? That's the only thing. And we have been made lazier by these companies because they have been selling us this false dream that, you know, take our product it will make your life easier. But with time, it actually makes your life harder because now you have another gadget and there is just another bridge between you and your 
task. So for example, you wanted to reply to someone. No, you will not just take out your phone. You will look at your watch. You will unlock your watch, you know, open the message notification, read your message, then take your phone out you know, open the messages again and then type your reply. Like seriously, but the companies will just feed all of this crap to us that no, you need it, this is ultimate convenience, blah, blah, blah. Give us $300, take our product. And we just keep doing that again and again and again. But we don't really need them. It's not a necessity. Think about it. If it was a necessity, why am I not missing it for the past two months? Because that's the definition of a necessity. You cannot live without it, right? I've been living without a smartwatch for the past two months. This is doing everything for me. Like literally everything. Why do I even need a smartwatch? I don't really understand. And I'm pretty sure that 60% of the people in the world are like me. We're just, you know, using the watches and other products because somebody told us to use them.